So how are we, where the flooded data is coming in, going to get them the information to participate in the analysis and be part of the research? Now, at this time, you have to recognize to communicate with another group, you picked up the phone, which was connected to the wall, all right, or you sent a fax or a telex, mm. okay, and that was, or wrote a letter. That was it, all right? So sure. at that time, I had been involved in all sorts of computer technologies at Iowa. Mm. I even worked in the, in the physics department's computer room mm. to supplement my income. I was a computer operator at Iowa. You, you would bring your card deck to that little slot, and on the mm. other side of the slot was me. I would, you know, and I would, I was running three computers, you know, doing all kinds of data analysis. And so I learned not to be afraid of computers and how to use computers to help do our job. And so I decided, hey, the best thing to do is figure out how to connect these group, the, these disparate groups, desperate group to Marshall. So I created NASA's first internet. It's oh, called wow. SPAN and it exploded in the sense that we were bringing on nodes all oh. over the place. So all the wow. four big agencies, NASA, ESA, ISAS, AXA, uh, uh, Roscosmos, were all connected via the network I created. 